Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about multi-core processor. Uh, so in the previous video, so we just discussed how the multi-processor uh, system can be scheduled, and there are actually different approaches in order to schedule and um, uh, schedule the process, and also uh, on scheduling the process in case of multi-processor system. So how, what are all the difficulties we are facing, and what are all the different approaches we can follow in order to overcome all those difficulties? So everything we discussed, right? And the next one is multi-core processor. This is not actually different from multi-processor. It is somewhat similar to multi-processor, but the difference is. In the same chip, we will be having more than one processor core. That is what multi-core uh, processor. Whereas in multi-processor, we will be having separate. Uh, I mean, physically, we will be having uh, separately all the chip, and in all the chips, we will be having the separate processor. That is what multi-processor. In multi-core, we will be having the same chip. In the same chip, so we will be having uh, many different core processor that were available in the single chip itself. That is what multi-core processor. Again, in the multi-core processor, this scheduling is somewhat more complicated, uh, as we discussed in multi-processor, right? Uh, so, how we can differentiate this multi-core with the multi-processor, which means. Um, it will even more faster than the multiprocessor because it is all those things will be embedded in the same chip itself processor memory and any other resources which we need all those things will be embedded in the same chip so it can access all the data in the from the memory which is more easily and also within a short period of time it can access everything so it is more faster than the multiprocessor and it consumes less power less power that is also become the advantage of this multi core processor right so we have one uh, specific feature uh, in case of this uh, particular architectural style of these multi core processor uh, uh, may leads to the one particular issue that is nothing but memory stall what is the meaning of memory stall which is nothing but uh, even though we have embedded with all those things so here also we are actually getting this memory stall so which means some uh, access latency that we are getting while uh, uh, trying to get the data from the memory suppose if that particular memory is not available in the i mean the particular data is not available in the memory so we need to transfer it from the disk so whichever the memory you are accessing either it could be a main memory or a cache memory or any other external memory something like that if you are trying to access the data if it is not available in that particular memory so what we need to do we have to transfer it from the disk so it takes some more time uh, in order to uh, place the data in the finding memory right so that is what memory latency and that we are calling it as memory stall so if you have the single threaded multi core processor what do you mean by single threaded each and every process will hold only one thread whatever the process we are running in a multi core processor so it has the capability of holding only one thread so if in a single thread multi core processor what happens here so it c for computation time that is uh, execution done by cpu and the m is for memory stall which means so compute cycle and this one is memory stall so which means um, the particular operation has been done by the cpu and next um, uh, the particular uh, it is actually waiting for the data to be accessed from the memory so this is actually the time for accessing the data and again it is executed by cpu and again it is accessing data it takes more time to get the data from memory that is what memory stall and again it is executed so what happens here 50 percent of the time it is actually wasted to in order to access the data that is not available in the memory so that is what memory stall we are getting 50 percent of time in memory stall itself so that is what happening in case of single threaded so if you go and check it with a multi threaded multi core processor so what happens here each and every process uh, has the capability of executing more than one thread right so in case of multi threaded so we may have more than one thread say for example if you have two threaded process thread 1 and thread 0 so while thread 1 is executing the execution and afterwards if it wait for i mean if it gets any memory stall so at that time 
the cpu will switch over to the next thread that it will not sit idle because it has to something to execute right it should has something to execute because we are executing the process in multi core processor so it is not all not at all said to be a multi processor it is a multi core so we have to utilize the cpu very well so we are switching in between the threads itself in order to avoid this memory stall so no need of waiting for this um, uh, memory latency so at that time it will switch over to the next thread and it will keep on executing this particular thread and while this thread is performing this memory stall and at that time uh, execution or the control will be transferred to the thread one in order to execute that particular thread so no need of uh, waiting more time for the memory stall uh it, if the memory stall happens in the system so there may be switches in between these two threads right and the next one is so how the uh, how we can multi thread a processor so if you look at this there are actually uh, two cases or two approaches which we can follow for multi threading any of the processor multi core processor first one is coarse grained and the next one is fine grained so these two are the different approaches for multi threading a multi core processor how can we multi thread it so which means uh, coarse grained is nothing but uh, whatever the thing i just uh, said that is that is what coarse grained which means if the first thread is executing memory stalls so at that time the control will be transferred to the second thread and while it is executing the memory stall again the control will be come back to the first thread so like that um, switches between threads takes place in case of coarse grained coarse grained um, so here switching is somewhat more complex and it is more expensive uh thread switching is somewhat more expensive so in order to avoid it we are going to this fine grained fine grained uh, um approach for the multi threading uh, multi core process which means the threads will be scheduled again the threads will be switched over here but it will this particular fine grained uh, approach of this architecture may include the uh, thread switching concept so it will not be more complex i mean um more expensive and the threads whatever we are actually switching will be very very too low uh, very low so that is what fine grain the uh, uh, approach of multi threading a multi core system so here in case of multi core processor so we will be having two level scheduling in the very first level so we need to find out which process has to be executed on which uh, logical processor right so which process has to be executed on which logical processor that is what on very first level on the second level scheduling uh, specifies that uh, so which core to be i mean um, i mean which processor should be run initially so the core has to specify which core uh, which processor to be run so that is what the scheduling decision taken at the second level so this is nothing but two level scheduling takes place in case of multi core processor system so that's all about the multi core processor system thank you